Howdy guys and gals, welcome back to Let's Play Bomberman 64. Last time we left off, we took on Stage 3, Trap Tower. Today, we're going to take on Stage 4. Dun, dun, dun! And it is going to be epic, man. Totally. Totes awesome. So, without a further ado, let's do this. What the crap is that? It's like a floating vacuum cleaner. It does like barrel rolls in there, apparently. Oh, and it shoots lasers. That's lovely. So we're gonna fight the vacuum cleaner. Cool. Wonder how many bombs it'll suck up before I destroy it. I want a beam. You wanna fight me? Uh, not really. Kind of want a sandwich. I'm hungry. Dang, gum, hear that music. Holy crap, man. You know this is such sh shish kebabs is gonna get real. Let's try to avoid cussing there. Although I don't know if I'm <laughs> really should bother doing this considering past prior videos, you know. Past prior, that sounds like a redundant statement. Holy crap, man. Dude, these guys are really aggressive today. Ooh. Okay, oh, I should probably explain who the heck these are. Altair, if you didn't know, that's this guy that's running around in the ninja costume. And, I don't know why it looks like a ninja costume. I think it's because of the pur color purple. I always associate the color purple with ninja, exactly. I don't know if it's because of the Fuchsia Gym Leader from the Pokemon games or what, but I don't know. It just seems like a common thing for me. That or maybe the, there's like a ninja power-up inside the Kirby... Or inside... In the Kirby... Uh, Kirby game Superstar Ultra, or whatever it's called. That has like a ninja power, and it's actually in a purple suit. Oh crap, there goes my heart, man. That sucks. Okay, so as you might imagine, you don't want to get hit by the laser, and... Oh, well, never mind. Jeez, man, my voice about covered up. He said playtime is over, I believe, but it sounds like he says poi-time, like with a W. Poi-time is over! It's like he's got an accent or something. I'll finish you! Dang. <laughs> Crap's about to get real, apparently. Okay, so welcome to phase two of Altair's Battle, man. This, this is where things get really tough. To get all the gold cards for this, you have to hit him in the head with a pumped bomb. You have to damage him with a pumped bomb. And you have to win the fight using bombs. So that means if you're thinking of using that cheat code that I think a lot of people know, it's not really cheat code, I guess. But if you're thinking about using that cheat knockoff move where you just hit him in the head or you make him dizzy, and then you pick him up and throw him off the cliff, well, you can do that to win and beat this fight. That, that's what makes this game so nice, is because if you don't feel like getting all the gold cards, you know, you don't have to by any means. All you have to do, really, is just, is, oh, not die? Yeah, that, that's a good lesson. Is you just have to pick him up, or make him busy, then pick him up and throw him off the cliff, because this is actually the one, like, mini-boss, sub-boss, what do you want to call it, where you have plenty of time to pick him up and, like, throw him off the cliff. So, but yeah story, bro. Oh, wow, that was rather fortunate. That was actually the hardest gold card. Damaging him with a pump bomb. Alright, so, strategies for this guy. Well, there's not many I can think of. I mean, I've read about him. Excuse me, I just scratched my face there. Bug, you better leave me alone. There's a freaking fly buzzing around here. I don't know why it is. I took out the trash and cleaned up my kitchen already, so I don't know what the deal with that is. There shouldn't be any reason for it to be buzzing around, but maybe I need to check, check around and see if like, there's like a nest of flies somewhere or something. I don't know. It's amazing when you decide to move furniture you don't normally like move around like the fridge or couch. Or, or, or I guess you would move the couch more often than you would move the fridge. But still, you get the point of the conversation I was going with there. Oh boy. You, you never know what you'll find and sometimes that's not always a good thing. <laughs> sometimes you'll find some really nasty looking bugs and creatures, you know. Like, holy crap, I didn't realize that was, like, I was harboring some weird insects underneath my fur- underneath the furniture or behind this fridge, you know? Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. It's just so weird. Here, get rid of this. He's obviously not gonna come near me. Yeah, as you can see, this jerkwad here runs away as soon as you, he go, you come near him with a pumped bomb, so, I don't know. I guess you have to be really lucky, or maybe you just have to hit him- bop him in the head with a pump- with a bomb. By just throwing it on top of him, and then you have to throw a pumped bomb on top of his head. That's my only thought uh, process as far as like how to get this guy to like get hit in the head with a pumped bomb. I mean, 
Because if you kick him with a bomb with the amount of firepower I've got, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to mess up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see I see an idea. Here we go. Oh, oh dude. Come on, man. Oh, man, you're going to tease me. Oh, come on, man. i got to make the time. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was nasty. Maybe I, maybe I feel like when he's invisible, I throw it at him. I don't know. I don't know. There, I've, try, I've tried just about every strategy to try and get this to be effective, but honestly, guys, I really don't have an effective strategy with this. As I said before, there's people that said that you should come here with minimum firepower or so. Oh, man, there's no way I'm going to make the time for that crap. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and die here. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'll kill myself here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm telling you, man, just the way he dies is so violent. It's like, it's like a 360 in the air. It's crazy. Cray cray, as I've heard people say. Man, sounds like a real man here underneath a suit. Like, it's like that song, basically. Whoa. What it is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Shake it. Anyway. Right. Here, yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Oh, dang, that's not nearly fast enough. It's not fast enough. It's not fast enough. It's not, 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 not fast enough. I don't know what I'll sing in there. Dude, come on. Stop making like a freaking... What's, what's the word? I don't even know what I was going for for that. I was going to say making like a falcon, but a falcon wouldn't sit there and disappear on you. I mean, Captain Falcon doesn't do that. Falco, last time I checked, doesn't do that. I mean, sure, they're fast characters, but still... When it comes to fight or flying, they fight, man. Even though I'm sure one of them could actually probably fly. Without his R-Wing or whatever. Or what is it? What are their individual ships called in Star Fox? Oh, oh my gosh, yes, yes. Okay, so that's that. that there's that. That, 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 jeez. <laughs> I'm getting a little excited here. I don't know if you can tell. That, 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 there, that, there was, uh, that was there, that was awesome, George. Bye, George, that was awesome. All right, we need to do this. Totally. I know we can do this. Oh, not like that, though. Come on, man. Well, that was that was really intelligent, dude. Real intelligent. <laughs> game over. Nice. Crap. Well, if you get game over, guys, guess what you have to do? You gotta fight the first phase again? That's right. Gold star for you. Yay. <sighs> I'll meet you guys back in the first phase, apparently. Heck? Holy crap! Hey, wait, 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 does that count? Alright, sweet! You wish. I'm just getting started, man, that was awesome. <laughs> and the freaking cutscene shows them off on the side of the, like, platform there, that's crazy. Here he goes, he's gonna f Metroid fuse together like he's freaking phase on or something. I'll finish you! His voice may be annoying, but dang it, if he don't sound determined, I gotta give the guy props for that, man. Shoot. Can I throw that? No. I can't freaking... Ugh. It's so frustrating, because, like... It's like you have to immediately, as soon as you make this guy dizzy, you have to pump up a bomb, like, almost instantaneously. That's, like, pretty impossible to do. When you're trying... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh! What? What? You saw that, right? You all saw that? That pumped bomb hit him in the head not once, not twice, but three times! How does that not count? What the heck, game? Dude! Come on! I don't, this guy does not need any more of a handicap. Seriously, this guy is freaking brutal to, like, fight as is, apparently, because I've died, like, six times already. Jeez. Come on, dude. Give me a break! You know, give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. Man. <laughs> Watch that pump bomb slowly deflate. Like it just had the best time ever. Wink, wink. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Totally awesome. I want to imagine the way I'm holding these things. Jeez. Dude, shut up. 
we're, we're not turning this discussion in that direction. That's just nasty. Like, seriously, dude. Totally, totally. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, come on! Ah! Why can't the invisible count? Dang it! Give me the gold cards, game. Seriously, this guy is a maniac. Look, I mean, you see this crap. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude! Dude, no, no, don't show it!